Welcome to my channel, my name is Roboy and today I'm here in beautiful Capri in Italy and I'm gonna show you what is in my travel bag. Make sure to watch this video until the end because I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks of what I do and how I use my setup to maximize this tiny bag. Let's jump right into it. As you know, I live on a cruise ship and I love to do videos and photos in the places that I go. I have been bringing so many lens and so many different setups with me and I regret sometimes. With this video, I can help you to make the right decision. So, I have this bag. It's my shoulder bag that I stole from my Pegachi. It's nice, it gets the job done. It has two sides here. On this side over here, it's just the papers, the ones that I use during the trip, during the excursions and stuff. I put here, I know where it is. On the other side, microfiber cloth. Can never have it enough. In the front section, I have this external power, it's amazing. I'm gonna link the description down below if you wanna learn a little bit more about this, but it charges so much. I can literally charge probably like three or four times my iPhone. I have this little cord, USB, lightning, but here you have different options as well. USB-C, lightning, USB-A, everything. Some business cards with my Instagram, some stickers that I always like to give to people that I meet around the world so they can have a memory and connect just in case they need something you know what I mean you can never go wrong I always recommend to keep some in your bag in your wallet everywhere you go so that's a nice way to grow your network as well so that's the inside part and in the main compartment here I keep one extra battery for my Sony a7 III one of these things to clean my lens amazing so you can just in your lens in your sensor if you need to switch lens air bodies this is very nice because you can just hook here perfect or on my bag amazing and it's always nice if you're traveling if you're on a bus or people are too annoying you just hey another microfiber cloth and then my iPhone and here my setup that I bring with me is a Rode Video Mic Go 2 amazing compact it gets a little bit of attention because people get scared you know what I mean the quality you can hear right now my volume on Sony a7 III is on level 7 and bada bing bada boom dead cat awesome to cut the wind rocking on 18 mil amazing wide lens and f2.8 but I need to say, you don't really need f2.8, especially if you're vlogging, if you're doing things outside, f4, you will get the job done. Sony a7 III, like I said before, I don't like to bring ND filters. Sometimes I just crank my f-stop up or I try to record as well in 120 frames per second. This helped me a lot with a little tripod from Rode as well. Sometimes I use for my mic, sometimes I use for my camera in this case over here. Very simple setup, very nice, very light. And if I need, I can just boom right here. As you can see, easy, very light. I can just put on my bag like this. I know it looks a little weird, but it's very nice, very practical because I can just open this, pull this out and buy. Capture the moment very, very quick. And that's what I like. I don't like to waste time. Quick tip for you, if you're traveling, if you wanna do some videos and photos outside, make sure that you plan and organize your equipment the night before. Even me, last night I was organizing, I have this strap that I always like to bring with me and I forgot to put in my bag. Use the straps. I don't like for videos and gimbals, but when I go out, strap very, very handy. Sometimes when I like to take photos, I always bring two lenses, the 18 for landscape and stuff like this, or the 24, but I find out the 24 is hard to vlog. It's way more compressed, so I recommend the 18. It's a little bit more wide, nicer. Take some portraits and stuff like this, I bring the 7200, but it's heavy. It's huge. It takes the whole space here inside and this lens go on top. I don't really recommend, especially if you're going in a long hikes and stuff like this. So I always like to keep things small and compact. So that's why I like the 18 or even the 50 is nice for some photos. Very light, very small and doesn't take any space here in case you want to take some nice photos. I hope that this video was helpful for you. Let me know in the comment down below what you think about my setup. This is what I use probably for the past five years now. 
and that's how I do my content outside mainly if you'd like to support me make sure to subscribe to my channel this way you're gonna be able to help me to achieve my dream come true thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video